everybody, this is going to be kind of like a, a tutorial, I guess, slash review. Um, this was kind of a request somebody had asked me as far as the, I guess, the tutorial part. Um, as you can see, I finally tried to fix my nails here. Um, I'm not very good with just nail polish. I just don't do the short nails and I guess to me nail polish just looks silly on me, but <laughs> anyway. The reason for this is um, I've had some people ask me on my store if my mixes can be put in nail polish. And the answer is yes. Um, I actually did this one. This is called Super Dry Clear Coat. I actually got this at the Dollar Tree. Um, what I did was, I first I put in this mix here. It's called Surprise. Um, I put this one in and it just seemed like it didn't have enough stuff going on with just one bag. I guess if you're going to do it, maybe use two bags and then, uh, of course, you're going to have to take some of the polish out um, to put the glitter in and then add more polish back um, to make it the consistency you'd like. But with just one bag of glitter for this size polish was not enough. So I went and added my other mix to it, my fly a kite mix. So I have these two mixes um, mixed together in this clear um, top coat. And my first um, thing I noticed was probably don't use a fast drying nail polish because the first thing I noticed was it gets, it dries so fast that it was getting crusty, but I mean, it's, it's doing good. I mean, it's, it's fine. I guess it works. Um, but I don't know, maybe leave your feedback down below on what you think about that. This is, you know, I just probably would use a regular top coat, probably not the fast dry one. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it worked fine. Um, as you can see, um, what I did was I put some of this on first. This is, um, Cinderella by Sinful Colors. Um, I put this on first and then this on top. So that's what I came up with. It's a little, little wild, but it's kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> so that's um, my answer to can I use your mixes in nail polish? And the answer is yes. And it worked really nicely so um i guess if you have any questions just send me a message on you know any particular mixes or whatever i mean none of my glitters bleed the only ones i'd be questionable on is um i think there's one mix i have that has like sand in it i just don't know how sand would feel on your nail mixed in nail polish so um but i mean i guess you could do it <laughs> so but yeah everything can be um, use the nail polish that I carry. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm just going to do like a review and this is not something that the company asked me to do. This is something I I paid for these myself and this is just me kind of trial and error learning different things with gel top coats. Um, I typically do acrylic on my nails but I do like to put the gel on the top to make it shiny um, and I'll use the gel if I'm going to lay like caviar beads or whatever. Um, rather than using super glue. So I have three gels that I bought on my own. These are my opinions um, of using these brands. Now I'm going to show you the one. This is probably my, my least favorite. <laughs> this one I bought. It's from Beauty's Factory. I got it on eBay. Um, this one is kind of runny, I guess. Definitely two minutes. Um, it's fine. I mean, if you want to do practice nails and you don't want to waste your good stuff, it works great. But you need two coats for sure, and it is runny, so you want to put it on thin. Otherwise, what happens is it runs down the side, and you do get the gel bumps, which kind of sucks. So, I mean, this one's, it. it's good for practice, I guess. Um, that's my opinion again. Um, you can leave your opinions down what you think of it. I, maybe I'm just using it wrong. I don't know, but I don't think I am. So the second one, this one is okay. This one I actually like better, believe it or not. I bought this on eBay. It's the Mile East brand. This one's a bit, a little bit thicker. Um, still, I mean, if I'm using it on my own nails, I will do two coats of this one too. 
And again, you, you run into that problem of doing it, you know, not too thick where it'll run because this one will run too. Um, but this one, what I use this one for mostly is if I am doing nail art and I do put the caviar beads on, um, this is the one I will go to rather than wasting my expensive top coat gel. So this is this is my go-to for that, um, for adding, you know, decorations or whatnot. Um, this one is just for practice, <laughs> if I'm doing, like, practice nails or whatever. Um, so, so far, my all-time favorite, the one I've tried, and I've tried a couple other brands. I ran out of those, and I just, you know, I, I ended up buying this one here, and I just stick with this one ever since, the ASP Top Coat. Um, this one's really nice. Uh, you only need one coat, and it's it's really nice. It goes on smooth. It doesn't run. It's nice and thick. Um, it is a little more expensive. That's why I say I'll use this one to put the little embellishments on or caviar beads or whatever, just as a adhesive. Um, but this one is what I will use on my acrylic nails as a top coat. So these, again, are just my opinions. This one is really nice. You know, let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite gel top coats? Um, what's your opinions on them? Um, I'm curious. <laughs> so, oh, and really quick, I just want to show you here what I mean by the practice nails. I don't know if this will show up on camera, but like this practice nail, I used this on to, you know, just to, to give it a, a nice shine. Um, I, this is acrylic, <clears throat> excuse me, acrylic. But can you see the ridges in there? That's the brush ridges. That's from the brush. I mean, it's smooth, but I could feel the ridges. I mean, I don't know. That's why I'm not too fond of this one. I mean, it's good for doing stuff like this. Um, I used the ASP just to kind of show you on this practice nail. Look at that. One coat. No ridges. Very smooth. Just one coat. This was two coats, and you can see those ridges. So anyway, again, um, my opinions. So anyway, I hope I didn't make this video too long. I just wanted to do that really quickly. And um, yeah, leave your comments below. Let me know um, your feelings on different gel top coats. Um, I'm curious. So anyway, thank you so much. Um, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.